Hello everyone, welcome to your channel Shuhasri ma'am and today we will do a new chapter that is linear equation okay this is a very this is an this is a very very important chapter and the uh, sums from this chapter definitely will come in exam so be careful and watch the video properly and learn the method how we will solve this linear equation in one variable okay this is for class 7th all students see this carefully and um, uh, we, I am doing the sum from the book R. S. Agarwal and uh, exercise number is 7A, you know. And so, first 1, 2, 3, 4 sums are very, very easy. You have done in class 6. But still, I am not doing that. That is very easy. I am starting from class, uh, number, sum number 5. Okay. So, let us see. Now, first you should understand what you have, you have to do. Well, okay. That is, uh, this is the equation equals to sign is there and right hand side that is there is a 0. So, the equation these have two, this linear equation has two parts, left hand side, two sides, not two parts, two sides, left hand, si left hand side and right hand side, two parts are there. So, first we have to find out, uh, solve it, definitely we have to solve and solve means what? We have to find out the value of x, what is the value of x? We have to find out, then we will do the checking, checking means we will put the value of s, that is called substitute substitution method we will put the value of x and we will in the left hand side and you will see that right hand it is coming and same as right hand side or not if we left hand side equals to right hand side we have to prove if it is not left hand side is not coming equals to right hand side that means something you have wrong so you have to check it again and definitely we will find out where is where you have done the mistake okay so let us start first this one is quite easy so, you do this 2 in the bracket x minus 2. So, we will multiply 2 with this x and 2. Both we will multiply. So, 2x minus 2, 2 is a 4. Plus, same way I will multiply 3 with 4x and 3 with 1. So, when I multiply 3 with 4x, so 3, 4 is a 12x minus 3, 1 is a 3 equals to 0. This much clear? Now, children, what I will do? I will just add the, collect the variable terms. Variable terms means this 2x, x is the variable. So, 2x is the variable term. Now, plus 12x, plus 12x equals to. Now, this side I will shift the constant term. Constant term means what? The numbers, the digits. This is minus 4. So, when from left hand side to right hand side minus 4 will come, it will become plus 4 because we know side change means what? Yes, sign change. <clears throat> so, my plus 4 and minus 3 is also in left hand side. It will come to the right hand side. So, it will also become plus 3. Now, add simple that implies 2x plus 12x that is 14x equals to 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 14x equals to 7. Now, easily we can find out what is the value of x. x equals to 7 divided by 14. So, easily we can cut 7, 1 just 7, 7, 2 is a 14. Therefore, x equals to 1 by 2. So, our value is what? If the value of x is a 1 by 2 or you can say half. Now, what we will do? We will do the checking. We will do the checking. Okay. This is our left hand side. First, you write left hand side LHS. First, you write LHS. Now, you just solve it. 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4 plus 3 into 4x means what? 3 fourths are 12x. Okay. So, write 12x. 12x minus 3 ones are 3. This is our left hand side. Now, you see 2x and plus 12x means what? 14x minus 4 minus 3 means what? 7x, 7 
minus 4 minus 3 means what 7. So, now we will put the value of x, we will sub do the solution by putting the value of x. What we have taken out the value of x that is half 1 by 2. So, put here 1 by 14 in x means 14 into x. So, 14 into 1 by 2 minus 7. So, 2 and the 2, 2, 7 the 14. So, what we got 7 minus 7 equals to what equals to 0. This is also only our right hand side. So, our checking is completed. So, you right hands verified our left hand side equals to right hand side. Okay. Now, let's say this sum is over. Now, next sum let me do the one more sum so that your concept will be totally clear. Number 5 we did. Now, I am doing number 6. Number 6 5 into 2x minus 3 5 into 2x minus 3 and uh, minus 3 into 3x minus 7 minus 3 into 3x minus 7 equals to 5. The previous sum number 5 that one it equals to 0 means right hand side it was 0 but in this sum it is 5. Now same thing we will do I will multiply 5 with 2x and 5 with 3. So, that implies 5 to the 10 x minus 5 3 is 15 minus 3 into 3 x that is 3 3 is 9 x minus minus plus be careful do not write here minus here it was plus. So, I have written plus minus minus, but you see that here minus 3 you are multiplying minus 3 into minus 7 minus 3 into minus 7 means minus minus plus 21 3 7 is 21 equals to 5 clear. Now, next I will take the uh, variable terms together. Variable terms together means what you will do 10 x minus 9 x you can uh, jump this step you can jump. So, you equals to 5 minus 15. So, we will side change. So, sign change it will become plus 15. Now, plus 21 will become minus 21 this much clear. Now, 9, 10 x minus 9 x means what 1 x or you can write only x. Okay. Now, you see 50 equals to 15 plus 5 is what 20 minus 21 x equals to 20 minus 21 is what minus 1 our value of x is what minus 1. So, let us see if we put the value of x uh, equals to minus 1 the left hand side equals to coming 5 or not 5 why 5 because our right hand side is 5 I also do not know it will come or not. Okay, now, let me do the checking. Now, checking our left hand side equals to what um, number 6 5 into 2 x minus 3. minus 3 into 3 x minus 7 minus 3 into 3 x minus 7 this is our left hand side. I am uh, last uh, uh, now some number 5 I did one way now I am uh, doing some other way see the another method 5 you put the value here inside the bracket only x minus 1 liko minus 3 minus 3 inside the bracket 3 x. So, 3 into minus 1 minus 7 bracket close. Okay. Now, 5 2 into minus 1 is what? Do not do mistake minus 2. Okay. So, minus 2 minus 3. Now, minus 3. Here, 3 into minus 1 that means minus 3 
minus 7 equals to 5 into what? Minus 2 minus 3. What you will get? Minus 5. So, minus 5. Both are minus sign. So, we do the work addition, but the sign will be minus. Now, minus 3 into minus 3 minus 7 equals to what? Minus 10. Okay. Minus 3 minus 7 equals to my sorry, minus 10. Now, you see minus 5 into minus 5 that is 5 5 is that 25 with minus sign. So, minus 25 minus minus 3 into minus 10. So, minus minus plus 30. So, we will write plus 30. Now, see minus 25 plus 30. So, what we will get? 5, 25, 30 minus 25 means what? 5, which is our right hand side. So, you will write here hence verified. Left hand side equals to right hand side. So, hence verified. So, today children, these two sums I have done and next I will do, I will complete the full series of these linear equation. We will do up to the word problem, the age sum and all. Okay, so follow properly, be with me and support me so that I can complete the series. So, today is this much and bye-bye.